Hello, my name's Raj and I'm a radiation oncologist from the Cambridge Cancer Centre in the UK. It's a sad fact that half of us over the age of 60 will develop cancer at some point in our lives. And of those, half of us will need radiotherapy treatment. My role is to look after patients with the most aggressive form of brain cancer. And it takes hours of meticulous preparation to create a radiotherapy treatment for each patient, mapping out the tumour and healthy parts of the brain. So what can AI do for me? I'll hand over to Antonio to explain. Thank you very much, Raj, and hello, everybody. My name is Antonio Criminisi, and I'm a researcher at Microsoft in Cambridge. You're looking at a typical MR scan of a patient's brain. This is a three-dimensional magnetic resonance image, and we're looking at it through multiple horizontal cross-sections. Sadly, this patient has been diagnosed with a rare and aggressive form of brain tumor called the glioblastoma, which you can see here. The patient needs to be treated with radiotherapy, but before doing so, Raj needs to prepare the data. Raj normally does so by using a click-based tool, such as the one I'm using here, to outline the tumor. And this outlining operation needs to be done in 3D. So it needs to be repeated for each of multiple dozens horizontal slices, wherever the tumor is visible. This manual operation is inaccurate, time-consuming, and expensive. Our AI algorithms can help here by doing the whole 3D segmentation completely automatically. In this tool, I am selecting the patient images and then choosing a machine learning algorithm that has been pre-trained to recognize and segment this type of tumor on many similar images of past patients. The machine learning model we use here is a decision forest, which classifies each voxel in the image as belonging to the tumor or to the healthy tissue. Here is the automatically obtained three-dimensional segmentation. Now, the reason why the preparation takes so much time is because when Raj does you know, the radiotherapy planning, he needs to segment not just the tumors, but also nearby healthy organs. They need to be protected from damaging radiations. They're called organs at risk. For instance, they could be the liver or the kidneys that we can see here, or the spine. We might want to minimize radiation in the kidneys or the spine, for instance. Here we apply the same machine learning model on a CT scan. We have you know, loaded another decision forest that was trained on recognizing kidneys and it is running now in the background. Just like before, you know, um, every voxel in the image has been classified as belonging to you know, the organ of interest, in this case the kidney, here we go, or everything else, the background. The segmentation here, again, is obtained completely automatically in just a matter of seconds. Now, at Microsoft, we believe in assisted AI. That means that you know, AI algorithms can work alongside human experts such as Raj, rather than completely independently. We are designing AI algorithms that can augment our skills rather than replace the experts. And here is an example. I'm just providing in two horizontal slices, providing some hints of where the tumor should be. And as soon as I release the mouse, here we go, the full 3D segmentation is obtained accurately you know, for us while the expert maintains full control over the process at all times. Thank you very much. Thanks, Antonio. So I hope you can now see that this is an amazing piece of technology for me and for my patients, because with AI assistance, I can plan radiotherapy treatments in minutes rather than hours, whilst maintaining the same degree of precision that I want for my patients. But it goes beyond that because after radiotherapy treatment is complete, I can use these tools to give me information about how the cancer is responding to therapy for my patients. And I have no way of currently doing this in my clinic. So these improvements will lead to better treatments and better outcomes. And I'm really excited 
about how AI can improve the lives of cancer patients throughout the world. Thank you.